Hello, students. Today's lesson is five new English words that you need to know for daily use in 2022. So I checked several dictionaries and I found several new English words that were added over the last several years. Welcome back, students. I'm very happy to see you here. Let's get started. Number five is thirsty. We know that thirsty means that you need to drink something, but thirsty has a new meaning recently. Thirsty means having a strong desire for attention from other people, especially on social media. This use of thirsty is informal and mostly used by young people. Here's an example of the meaning of thirsty in daily use. My sister is really thirsty. She posts pictures of herself on Instagram every day because she wants to be a model. New English word number four, flex. The new informal definition of flex is an act of showing off or bragging. Flex is a slang term commonly used on the internet. The act of flexing is often criticized negatively. Here's an example of flex. Check out my new shoes that cost a thousand dollars. Hey, no need oh, to flex about oh. how much cash you have. New vocabulary word number three. The next vocabulary word for 2022 is dad bod. The meaning of dad bod is when a man's body is slightly overweight or flabby, but still attractive. Dad bod is a compound word that uses parts of two different words, dad and body. Bod is the short word for body, so dad bod. The idea is that once a man becomes a dad, he doesn't have a lot of time to exercise and may start to get out of shape and a little overweight. Here's an example sentence for dad bod. I need to exercise more. I think I'm getting a dad bod. English vocabulary word number two, hard pass. Hard pass is a compound term that expresses rejection or a firm refusal of something, like an offer. Here's an example of hard pass. Hey Danny, can you help me move my couch on Saturday? Uh, my back is a bit sore. I think that's a hard pass for me. And the number one vocabulary word is silver fox. A silver fox is an attractive middle-aged man with mostly white or gray hair. The silver part of the word refers to the color of the hair. And fox comes from a term in English to refer to a very attractive person. Someone can be a fox or they could be foxy. Foxy is kind of an older term, but you know. Here's an example sentence. He's a bit old, but he sure is a silver fox. Now you know more about new words in English recently added to the dictionary. I'll see you in the next video.